Named by the founder of Serbian National Theatre, this stage has seen it all. For more than a century, it has been a home to many artists, musicians, singers from all over the world. And up until this point, only wars were able to close it. Ladies and gentlemen, good evening. And welcome to the oldest Serbian National Theatre and its biggest stage. One of the largest in Europe, in fact. This stage is the reason that we have all gathered here today. On the 16th of March, the government of Serbia proclaimed that there can be no more than 100 people in one place at the same time, thus closing down the theatres and concert halls in Serbia, like the rest of the world. After that, the whole world went on a spiral. But our fingers soon started to itch, and as one musician pointed it out, we missed playing together. And that is how the video that started it all was made. Vladimir Šaro, Emir Memedovski, Nevena Šimšić, Borut Palić, Robert Borbelj, Nataša Čubrilo, Jožef Visak, Milan Milanov, Ćao, Čuković, Vladimir Violina, Andreja Sulinas, conducting for the Serbian National Theatre Orchestra. measure in a nation's recent change is its ability to conceive and comprehend the change in music. It is necessary to gather national feelings and immediately process them according to general music rules. Such a lovely sentiment and even more accurate today, although this, uh, this actually dates back to 1934 when Turkish leader Atatürk uttered those words. This is still a credo even today for Samsung National Opera and Ballet. And we are going there first, to the east and to the Turkey.
this moment of silence, we rediscover even more the value of music, painting, literature, art. In this particular case, the music started from balconies until it spread all over the world, showing, showing solidarity with Italy. Three orchestras are part of our journey tonight, and Italy's lovely Orchestra Filharmonica di Benevento is next. Before Verdi died, the first opera was performed in Serbian National Theatre in the year of 1897. From then until now, a lot has changed. But one thing remains the same. Opera in Novi Sad is still an art that you can read, a movie that you can watch, and music that you can listen to all at once. Mislite da je opera dosadna, prevaziđena. Elitistička, skupa. Ili ono standardno, ne razumem šta pevaju i neću da neko viče na mene. Razmislite ponovo, ovo je umetnost koja traje vekovima. Umetnost čija je tajna u njenoj raznovrsnosti su u životu velikih dela klasičnih majstra s modernim, a ponekad i epohalnim muzičkim i scenskim eksperimentima. Strast, znoj, svakodnevni rad, trud, padovi i uspeh na kraju. Dalje mislite da je opera dosadna, ne i ovde. U Srpskom narodnom pozorištu.
Beethoven like no other changed music in its history. His work changed the way we compose music today, we even listen to music or record it. His lifelong work is kind of like a zipped file of musical history. And 2020 was supposed to be the year in which the whole world would race as to who would be more creative, more innovative in uh, memorating Beethoven's anniversary. Beethoven may not be here anymore, but he is still alive, like Ode to Joy. So we are now calling all of you. Wow, Beethoven's Ode to Joy, performed by Serbian National Theater Orchestra di Filharmonica di Beneveto, Samsung National Orchestra and Ballet, and a Choir from China. Thank you all for participating in this amazing endeavor. Before I let you go, I just wanted to ask you, did you know what Corona really is? Corona or fermata is a symbol that stands above the note and it actually means to the musician that he should prolong the note until maestro says stop. So by now, I think we should all, we could all say, maestro, please stop, we've had enough. Until then, stay safe, stay home, and theaters, all our theaters will be here after this. Good night. <laughs>